access your calendar in Schoolbox, click on the Calendar tab. The Calendar tab will show you all calendars that you have access to. This will include your own personal calendar and the school calendar. To move between months, click on the arrows underneath your name. To go back to today, click the Today button. The calendar icon next to the arrows will give you a quick snapshot of a month and allow you to move between months easily. As you learnt in the previous level, Schoolbox Newbie, you can view your calendar as a list, month, week or day. You will notice when you view your calendar that there is a lot of information there for you. To filter this down and only see certain types of events, you can click on Filter. You have four options to filter your calendar. You can choose from different sources. These will be things like timetable, resource booking and events. You can turn these sources on or off at any time. You also have the ability to filter your calendar by the groups that you are in. Every group that you are a part of that uses the calendar will send information directly to your calendar. You can choose to show this information or turn it off at any time. To do this, click on the tick box next to the group. You can also filter your calendar by campus, turning campus calendars on or off at any time. The final way that you can filter your calendar is by event types. Your school sets these event types up. You can turn them off or on at any time. To display your calendar in the calendar app that you use personally, you can do this by clicking export. You can then choose which type of events you'd like to export and either download a CSV or generate a URL. If you download a CSV, this downloads all information currently in your calendar and allows you to upload it to the calendar that you use. It's important to note that if you upload a CSV of this calendar, it will upload all data which you have in the calendar now, but it will not continue to upload future data that you enter in the school box. The best way to share your Schoolbox calendar with another calendar is to click Generate URL. This gives you a URL to upload to whatever calendar you use. You might be using Google Calendar or Apple Calendar or even Outlook. Uploading a URL to your calendar creates a live stream between your Schoolbox calendar and your external calendar. This means that any time you add events in your Schoolbox calendar, or anyone else adds events to your Schoolbox calendar, these will be pushed automatically to whatever calendar application you use. For more instructions about uploading your Schoolbox calendar via URL to your external calendar, you will just need to Google uploading URL to your calendar type. To add an event to the calendar, click on the day in which you would like to create the event you can choose to add an event or a task. Simply enter the details and click Create Event or Create Task. If you are creating an event, you might like to click Edit Event to have more advanced options. You'll need to give your event a title Choose when the event will take place you can click all day if it's all day, or unclick this to give specific times. Choose a location for your event. Then choose what type of event it is. In the level field, different users will see different things. All users will see the personal level. This is the level to add an event that is just on your calendar. This might be something like an appointment at a doctor, a music lesson, or something you need to remember. Users will have the group level 
if they are an administrator to a group. You will learn more about groups in future units. Clicking on group will prompt you to choose which group you'd like to add this event for. Remembering that all users in the group will have this event added to their calendar. The final level that exists is a campus level. Only users that have permission to edit the school calendar will have this level. If you need this level and don't have it, you can speak to your super user. Generally, only a few people in each school have access to edit the school calendar. If you are adding news at a campus level, you will then be prompted to choose which role the calendar event is relevant to. You will also need to select a campus. When creating group or campus events, you have the option to enable attendance. If you enable attendance, users have the option of accepting or declining your calendar event. The final thing you need to do to create any type of event in Schoolbox is add the details for the calendar event. If you don't have any, this can be left blank. For more advanced options for your event, in the top right hand corner you can click Show Advanced Options. This will give you the ability to set a publish date, set the event to repeat, and choose when the repeating stops. When you're happy with your event, click Add Event. To edit your event, you can click on it and click Modify. You can also delete your event by clicking Delete. If you have enabled attendance, people that are invited to the event can click on it in their calendar and click RSVP. At any time, if they can no longer attend the event, they can click Unattend. As the creator of the calendar event, you can click on the event and see who is coming by clicking on the Attendees button. You will then have a list of all of the users attending the event with the option to export this and download it to your computer. You can do this by clicking on Export to CSV. To reject or approve people to attend your event, click on the box next to their name and click either Approve Selected or reject selected. You can also delete users from the calendar event by clicking on the bin icon to the right of their name. If you liked this video, remember to hit like and subscribe to our Schoolbox YouTube channel.